How's it going everyone? I'd like to talk a little bit about my Iboga experience I've had recently in Costa Rica and uh, tell the world about this awesome medicine that more people need to know about. Um, my story begins years ago, probably 15 years ago. Uh, I was experimenting a little bit here and there with Percocet and some opiates and whatnot and uh, wasn't doing them a lot and then um, used to race motocross and got in a pretty bad wreck messed my back up pretty good and that was a gateway to as many opiates and Percocets and Oxycontins as I needed or wanted prescribed by a doctor so as you know things kind of went downhill from there and uh, for 15 years now I've been on pretty much opiates on and off the whole time and it's not been fun so about six months ago things really were getting just bad with my marriage and life and just everything and uh, started with a little bit of Xanax to help anxiety and stuff I was going through at the time and things just escalated and my marriage was going through some rough patches so it was pretty much rock bottom for me and my wife and uh, I had to figure something out or get out <laughs> and uh, so I had briefly heard about Iboga and I Ibogaine from somebody but uh, never really knew about it and somehow uh, I saw an ad for a place um, Iboga Healing in Costa Rica on Facebook so I checked it out a little bit and um, looked into it and was pretty scared at first but really was interested with all the stories and good stuff I've heard about it so uh, I contacted them and uh, immediately they got back with me and and we discussed it and discussed their their uh, retreat and um, everything about it and how to get there and how uh, extremely amazing this stuff actually is so that being said I um, gathered up some money and bought a plane ticket and made a date and went down there and uh, was was very nervous and um, excited anxious all that comes with all you know the opiate influence and other things you know also but uh yeah it was a nerve-wracking trip down but uh once i got there it was um immediately known that i was going to be taken care of and uh, i was in good hands and i was along for the ride at that point so um yeah we we got back to the retreat and uh, I was starting to feel some withdrawal effects from the opiates that I was trying to I was trying to wean down before I got down there as much as I could and uh, I did big time which was a good good thing and um, so anyways the first day Steve at a boga healing he uh, talked to me and um, got some more information and uh, wanted to assure me that if I was to feel, start to feel any withdrawals to let him know and I, I did as soon as I was starting to feel crappy and sweaty, you know the first starts of withdrawal he uh, gave me a spoonful of a boga and um, then about an hour I was feeling, I was feeling something um, and so I kind of just laid down, relaxed, tried to just go with it. And um, 
I was I was sweating, but uh, those withdrawals that normally happen weren't coming. They weren't happening, and um, I was a little uncomfortable. So about an hour later, he gave me another spoonful, and uh, I just laid there, just chilled, relaxed, and um, for the next two days, pretty much did that and, and detoxed. And uh, I will say, 95% of the withdrawals did not come, and it was amazing. I sweated a little bit, laid around, but uh, yeah, it was uh, not like any anything I've ever experienced with withdrawals from opiates or benzos or whatnot. So after the third day, I uh, kind of came out of a fog and was amazed with how good I had felt already and um, wasn't even thinking about a pill or a drink of alcohol or a benzo. It was mind blowing how, how much it had left my mind and how I just wasn't even thinking about it. Um, so by the fourth day, I was really feeling good. We went to the beach, hung out, did some hiking around and stuff it was awesome and uh, fifth night I went on my major journey and that was the most unbelievably awesome experience I've ever been through and uh, it was it was a little tough in the beginning um, it was a little scary was, you know had its uh, anxious parts I guess you can say um, but once you start and you lay down you just go for the ride man you just sit back and uh, sit in the back seat and then Iboga is the driver and you gotta just have faith and um, go for it man and uh, it's it's amazing the next day is uh, it's unexplainable. Um, you kind of just sit and process all the thoughts and things that you've experienced in the last 12 hours, you know? And uh, you go through some really deep thinking, figuring out what stuff in life means and what you've been dealt and how it has affected you. And it's awesome. The following day is the most unbelievable rebirth you could experience it's uh i've never felt such a change and such an awesome feeling since i was 15 i would say I, i'm 40 this year and i feel like a teenager still it's been six weeks since my journeys and um i still feel absolutely amazing i haven't even considered a pill or a drink or anything. It's like I'm just going about my life like I did when I was a little youngster, riding my bike, surfing, paddle boarding, you know, just, it's just awesome hanging with my friends and family again. I couldn't be more happier and grateful. And uh, yeah, I also did a second journey while I was there. Um, and that was as equally as amazing. It was awesome. Uh, I've heard some scary stories and I've heard some awesome stories and my story was awesome. I had an, an amazing experience and I recommend Iboga or Ibogaine to anybody in the world fighting any addictions or depression, PTSD or anxiety, uh, multiple things that can help and it's, uh, it's an extremely awesome medicine. It's from Africa, the jungles of Gabon and uh, surrounding areas and the Bwiti tradition. The people of Gabon are just awesome, amazing people. I would like to go there one day and experience it firsthand, but um, you don't have to go all the way there. You can go right to Costa Rica and have an equally amazing experience, man. So. I recommend this to anybody and uh, yeah, take the jump, 
If you're feeling down, if you've got an issue with pills or anything, man, you gotta just do it. <laughs> Be brave and do it. If something's holding you back and or you've got work that you can't get away and you got this that you gotta do because you gotta get it done and oh god you can't do this. Fuck that. Go do a boga and then come back and worry about all that stuff because you can get it handled much better. So I will forever be grateful for this medicine and the people at Aboga Healing in Costa Rica. Absolutely amazing. Steven, Madison, and uh, Jenny, they're just awesome people and they will be there right by your side the entire time and uh, get you through any rough spots, if there is even any that you gotta deal with, you know? But. Uh, Sorry, it's been such a long interview. Thanks, and uh, good luck to anybody that needs it, man. Do it.